to the check. One, two, seven. This is one, two, seven. Thank you. 
ఆశీర్వాదం ఉంటాడు Good afternoon all. We would like to welcome everyone to today's celebration. We gather together today and to celebrate the life of Roger Joseph, whom God has called out of this world. A husband, a brother, an uncle, and a true friend. May God grant him eternal rest. To his family and especially his wife Cindy, I say be comforted in knowing that he is in a better place. On behalf of Holy Cross Parish, I would like to extend our heartfelt condolences to each and every one of you. Be strengthened in the Lord. We shall now listen to the eulogy, which will be done by Julieta Peter, and afterwards we will listen to the Vice President of the Minibus Association with a tribute, which will be done by Rafael Jachas. So I'm going to start again. Aija points, cool way, cool running, motivation, Uncle Roger, a son of the aliases by which Roger Joseph was called. He was born on the 30th of December 1970 to now deceased Mary Magdalene Joseph, also known as Lita, and Joachim Joseph, also known as Corio or Michelle Joseph, who both resided in Kebush to Oshemiku. He was the fourth child of the family 
and had four brothers and four sisters. His childhood. Roger attended the TOSA combined school until standard six. Ronald, his brother, would recall the days when he, Ronald, reluctantly carried his food carrier to school because of the jokes of other students. But Roger would proudly hold his carrier with no problem because he knew exactly just what to say to the children if they dared to heckle him. When Roger left school, he went into planting bananas with his dad, which he enjoyed. He was always an industrious young man. During school holidays like Christmas, Easter, and the New Year's, Roger would accompany his younger siblings and cousins to Sunday afternoon dances. When his friends would pop the question, who are those girls? Roger would answer, all is mine and don't come here. Roger was respectful and would never be the one to start any squabble. If his mother ever got a complaint, which were very rare, Roger was provoked. Roger the driver. Roger was a driver for 36 years and he was no ordinary driver. Driving was his hobby and passion. It was always his desire from a very young age to acquire his driver's license. He started driving at the tender age of 15. Apart from driving for KJ Trucking in St. Martin, he was an exemplary driver for several local bus operators such as M1212, M1049, HA8702 and many more. He was a valued member of the Southern Minibus Association Route 2H. He made every passenger feel at home and welcomed. Roger was well known as one of the most careful drivers. Motivation said it all. After years of driving for others, he saw the need to be his own boss. The motivation, love, and the steady support from his wife made this a reality for him, and hence the name Motivation, as was distinctly dis displayed on the front windshield of M1339. His love story, a wife's reflection. Roger was a wonderful husband. Words can do no justice to express how much he was cherished as a father, best friend, and colleague. Our love story started in 2004, right here in Dariso, at the Black Beauty Disco. It was at a country and western dance that I met and set my eyes on this handsome man. Although usually outspoken, I was too shy to even say hi. I went back the following Tuesday, hoping to set eyes on him again, but he was ahead of the game. This time, he introduced himself. We danced the night away, and the rest, as they say, is history. Roger was blessed with a gift to make everyone comfortable, secure, and feel loved. Sadly, when I lost him, we were just a few months shy of celebrating our first wedding anniversary. We were married for less than a year, but shared a soulmate bond that spanned 17 and a half years. We remained solid despite the challenges. He was a thoughtful and caring person who took the shirt off his back to give to those who meant the world to him. He was an amazing father to Elijah. Looking back over the years, there were so many moments of happiness, and, his, and this will be forever imprinted in my heart." Unquote. Roger helped with raising Elijah from the age of 11 and a half months, and the two were inseparable. They shared similar passions, music, driving, and vehicles. Roger loved keeping his bus clean, and of course, if the two weren't washing and polishing, they would be seen fine-tuning the music system on the bus. His wife also remembers him as a great cook. His specialty was dumplings and cocoa tea, rice pudding, breadfruit and salt fish or salted snout. Whenever he was off the road, he would certainly be caught cooking. A son and friend to many. Roger did not have a flamboyant personality, but he touched many lives in different ways. It was a painful moment for him when on the 10th of August 2020, his mom took her last breath while he was supporting her head. 
In his spare time, he would visit his relatives in Pwale. He would engage his mother-in-law in playing dominoes, and knowing how much she loved the game, he would play with her for hours. His mother-in-law made sure she dished out his food, which he was sure to find when he got home. His signature greetings whenever he arrived home was good night. Sasef Dila will always be remembered by everyone. He was well loved by all who met him, and nothing was too hard for him to do for his family and friends. The many people attending this funeral, whether in person or online, is testament to the type of individual Roger was and the many lives he impacted. We have lost a gem. All too soon, all too sudden, unexpectedly, the event of 23rd September 2022 remains unbelievable up to this day. The tears, the unanswered questions still linger. Only God knows. His life was one well lived. He will forever be in our hearts. Rest in peace, cause. Thank you. Good afternoon, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This section is from the perspective of Sound. Can you hear me? This section is from the 2H drivers. We will charge you for one of the most difficult tasks that an individual can hope to experience on the face of this earth. This was to give a brief perspective. This was to give a brief perspective on the life of a loved one who has passed on from this realm to an eternal rest. Today, we are extremely heartbroken but comforted to know that the life that you lived, Roger, on this earth touched us to the very core. Indeed, we each had separate experiences with you, but the outcome was almost always the same. And the way we view you will never change. Although we find it difficult to suppress those uncontrollable, uncontrollable tears running down our eyes this afternoon, we know that you are in a better place. All of our eyes witness the same image of our dear friend and the aurora which he portrayed was an authentic and realistic one. We observed how he interacted with his wife, Cindy. We all knew and could tell that he loved her dearly. And by that I mean with no reservations. There was always a genuine demonstration of unconditional love displayed publicly. And we can only imagine how much more elaborate and affectionate he was in private. Our thoughts are unable to conceive how difficult it would be for her to live without him. A fresh marriage, plenty of promises, dreams and plans to fulfill, but God knows best. Be strong, Cindy, and take courage in knowing that suffering of this world is only for a fitting moment and as god has promised we will see our loved ones again permit me at this moment to share with you the thoughts and experiences of a few of his colleagues these are individuals who interacted with roger on a daily basis i would have loved to allow allow everyone to express the best moments but i am sure that you 
would agree with me that it would take the entire afternoon. This is what a few of them had to say. From Bobby's perspective, Roger lived a life which truly defined humility. He was one who was always able to maintain a very cool head. Confrontation and drama was not part of his lifestyle. A man who would rather walk away, even, even if he was well within his rights to start a war. Talk about three minutes. That was his forte. Someone who truly considered and worked in the favor of commuters, no matter how many trips he took, he ensured that they came first. I dare say that Roger was the most cautious driver in our midst. I wish to take this opportunity to ask us, colleagues, co-workers, and friends of Roger, to adopt this page from the book which governed the life of our dear friend and defined who Roger was. According to AT, Roger paid particular attention to his bus. He ensured that it was very clean, even on rainy days. He remembers Roger as a very quiet individual who did not talk excessively. AT said that he always expressed concerns about that place where he met his untimely demise, reminding us that we should take precaution in that particular location. 007 describes him as a humble man, and for that reason he was given the nickname Cool Runnings. Even when there was a confrontation with him, he would choose to walk away and seek counsel with another co-worker. 007 concluded that he was a man who took very good care of his bus and his business. When we spoke of Roger as a down-to-earth individual who loved his job, he ensured that his bus was kept clean at all times. Roger was an extremely cool and humble guy. Elijah and James Edgar echoed the same sentiments as their colleagues. They believe that Roger was a quiet He recalls that any time that Roger would be in a position to lose, Roger would leave the game. And you can imagine how angry the other players would be. According to Sledge, Roger was a quick... And his dream was to put things in order. Of course, I cannot forget his bosom friend, Linus. As difficult as it was for him, he revealed that for the few years that he had known Roger, he was a humble guy. Roger was a person whom you could sit and talk to, and that was something that they did very often. When Roger was wrong, he was always quick to say that he was wrong. He also always stood by what he felt was right. He was very quick to apologize. Roger always looked at the bigger picture and even introduced his friend Linus to the minibus sector because he felt that investing in that sector was a good thing to do. Roger always used the words positive during the conversations with Linus. And undeniably, Roger was a generous, dependable, and reliable individual, and nothing was too much for him to do. Personally, I would say that Roger exemplified every one of the fruits of the Spirit. Love, 
joy, peace, patience, meekness, long-suffering, gentleness, and faith. And we all were touched by it. He demonstrated to us by being a role model that an individual was able to possess all these virtues. Roger was all, also a huge fan of music. He was one who ensured that his sound system was top notch. He, he always had all the latest tunes blowing on it, from dancehall to soca, country and western, and reggae. As one can highlight from the different opinions, cleanliness and humility were qualities that will forever be etched in our hearts, in the hearts of all those who had the opportunity to have known this man. This generally symbolizes the extent of Roger's character, and may this be the memory that we hold of him. Coincidentally, the place of his death was the exact spot that he spoke of very often and kept reminding us of how dangerous this spot was and that we should take it easy in that area. Who knew that this very spot would be the fate of his destiny? Roger, your memories are treasured within our hearts and that's the heart of all the two drivers, especially because you are no longer with us. Memories of good times on the bus stand will be a recurrent reminder of the goodness of mankind and that all is not lost for humanity. You are truly a wonderful friend in more than one ways. You will surely be missed. Fly, Roger. Fly high. Fly, my friend. Thank you. Let's all stand. Persons outside, we are inviting you to please come in. We have so can you please come in and take a seat?
and sisters so i welcome all of you to celebrate the funeral service of roger joseph my brothers and sisters we have come together to renew our trust in jesus christ who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death and by rising as open the forest the gates of heaven let us pray for our brother roger joseph that he may share in christ's victory and let us pray for ourselves that the lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is of a certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant, Roger Joseph, 
who has gone to his rest in Christ may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Our first reading is taken from the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 17 to 26. Let us all sit to listen as the message will be proclaimed by Natalie Bika. shut out from thee. I have forgotten happiness, and now I say my strength is gone. That hope which came from the Lord, burdened from my anguish and affliction, is gale and wormwood. My spirit ponders in continually and sinks within me. This is what I shall tell my heart, and so recover hope. The favors of the Lord are not all past. His kindness, his kindness, are not exhausted. Every morning they are renewed, great in his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul, and so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. This is good to wait in silence for the Lord to say. This is the word of the Lord. In response to the reading, we shall sing, The Lord is my shepherd, he lives, the second song on your leaflet. The Lord's my shepherd, I not want, he makes me down to life in
The second reading is from Paul to the Romans, chapter 6, verses 3 to 4 and 8 to 9. Let us listen as the, as the reading will be proclaimed by Kitha Joseph. We sit in second reading. Please, somebody can come. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we are baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, so too might we live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy his sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with his sin. But we believe that having dead with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gospel is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. Let's all rise to acclaim the gospel. Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Plant your words, I'm deep in me. Speak, Lord. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will not die forever. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Plant your word down deep in me. Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Please show me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can his saltless be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under their bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works, and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Please be seated. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, once again, I welcome each and every one 
Particularly, there are some people I have to welcome, the police officers, the minibus association group, and all the drivers, the police officers, who came to support the family. So myself, the Holy Cross Parish, please accept our heartfelt sympathy to you, the family. So my dear brothers and sisters, today I have seen there are so many red t-shirts everywhere. The red, Roger Joseph like red. I was told he like red, so red stand for love. So I welcome all those who are wearing the red t-shirt and red shirt, all those who are in red. So let us celebrate the life of our brother Roger Joseph today. So my dear brothers and sisters, today we started our service. We have heard the two eology. What he has left for us today? What is the person about Roger Joseph today? We have to know brothers and sisters. Already you are here in the third time. If I repeat whatever he said, first and foremost, he was a very cool, cool person. Nobody make him angry and he was a, a great a friend. Many persons who travel V4 to Castis or Deriso to Castis like to travel in his bus. Not because the seat is nice, bus is very good conditions. No, because the way he is approaching. So he allowed, he allowed the passenger. The, when the passenger traveling, they take pleasure. And they enjoying uh, going with him, they play music. And uh, we hear so many things about him. But Roger Joseph, at the age, this age is not death age, but an accident. Nobody can accept. Accident is accident. He was so much careful when he was driving, but somewhat he died on the spot. So we are here gathered to give farewell to our brother Roger Joseph. You know, his wife Cindy and Roger Joseph lived 17 and a half years. And this 2022 January, they got married, as was said in the eulogy. Only today, this month, only nine months, God has taken him back. And they break the covenant. What the covenant they made before the congregation, before God, I am for you, you are for me. This is everlasting covenant. They made month of January 2022. It is broke today. So sisters and brothers, and he has one more son, Elijah, and he was a stepfather. And he was almost 19 years, 16 years a boy and he was a father. So he was so lovable person and we know he is a driver. Always they say RJ driver, Roger means everybody know. You can see around the church today all the minibus drivers, the minibus associations are here. So the, that's what they were in the white garment, white dress. So the minibus associations, I also welcome you. After giving all, almost so much introduction about him, those who are wearing white minibus associations, I welcome also to celebrate the life of our brother Roger Joseph. So sisters and brothers, let us console the family, let us console the police officer, the wife, Cindy, and the family members. That let us pray to Jesus, that Jesus may give consolation and support in the family.
So as we are here, we heard about the first thing, Book of Lamentation. Those who have faithfulness, Lord will always help them when they die. So the second reading, Book of Romans. St. Paul is writing to the Romans. So when we receive baptism, we are dying with the original sin. Wherever you go and baptize or uh, other church, when you go uh, baptize, that is you are dying with Christ and rising with Jesus. So Jesus showed, Jesus died with the sins, all our sins. He raised from the dead. The same way St. Paul is asking you and me today, we will also rise with Jesus Christ one day. So as we are here brothers and sisters, today you have heard the gospel reading and Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. You, it is not me, it is not she, it is not he. Jesus mentioned or Jesus telling each and everybody you are the salt of the earth. What is a salt? Why Jesus tells you are the salt and we are using the salt every day, day to day of our life we are using for the food and without salt we cannot eat. And in those days, in olden days, we used the salt to preserve the meat, the fish. Those days when we did not have the fridge, all the facilities, we used to have only salt to preserve the things. Now Jesus tells, you are the salt of the earth. And the salt has the qualities. What kind of qualities salt have? Salt has pure, that is salt always white, pure, purity. Jesus tells we have to keep our hearts pure. So like the salt, we have to keep our heart pure brothers and sisters. That is one of the qualities of the salt. Secondly, how the salt is preserving the meat and the fish the same way wherever we go which church you are going we have to preserve our faith what we receive at the time of baptism we have to preserve the faith there is faith varies person to persons i may have little you may have more faith so the person to person, it varies. See, if almost you go to all the churches, you can see whether it is Saturday service or Sunday service, almost you can see all the ladies, not gents. So I'm not blaming, but we can see the faith differs from person to person. So how we pursue when we come to church or when we go to other church. So sometimes we do not like the way the priest preaching, the way the lady is treating you. So the way we have relationship with others. What we do? We go to other churches. We go to other church and I'm telling that uh, this church is not good, the people are not good, we blame. And uh, that church is also not good, we go to other church. So this is, we are going church to church. And we have one Father, and you believe Jesus Christ is the one. One Jesus Christ we have. When we go to other church, example, Seventh day or Adventist, any church you go, we believe Jesus Christ. We believe there is no Catholic Jesus Christ. There is no Adventist Cat Jesus Christ. There is no Seventh day Jesus Christ. There is no Pentecostal. Jesus Christ. We have one Father, one Jesus Christ, one belief. So at the time of baptism, 
we receive jesus we have to die and sisters and brothers jesus giving today very good parable we have to preserve our faith what we have received from the time of baptism so let us preserve our faith whatever difficulties comes in our lives this is our christians we are the christians jesus christ is god our father is in heaven let us put our belief whatever comes so let, let us have faith let us deepen our faith whatever difficulties comes and third quality is of the salt is giving taste taste if we do not add salt in the food it won't give taste so what is the connection the funeral service and the salt today roger give taste to all the people that's why the church is filled he gives so much taste ever he give love generously and he was cool he was a great guy and everybody like him and love him that's why we are here so he gave so much a flavor so much a taste to others i am who i am i am the one so he proved himself on this earth as a driver so sisters and brothers so whatever roja has left us let us take some of our qualities what he has left for us he is a very cool person he is a easy going person he is a down down to earth person let us take his simplicity let us practice whatever he has left for us today let us take some of the qualities not all the qualities we cannot take but whatever we can he is a very simple person what he has left for us let us take from him so the the second parable jesus tells you are the light of the world you are the light of the world not a physical light you got to motivate others you good is so example they starting from elderly they are grown up people all the people show good example to others make the uh, people to come to church this roje family and all people involved in <coughs> some years back they used to come to church and go back so they very good family so they motivate the children so the same way brothers and sisters let us motivate others to jesus christ let us be light to others show in the good way show in the good example not only speaking but in our actions as we are here let us pray for the family let us pray for our brother roger joseph what he has left for us today let us take some of his good qualities and put it into our lives and practice it so let us pray for the family members jesus christ will always support them in all the undertakings and let us pray for ourselves that we do not know when the lord comes let us do the good works because we do not know when we die today roger joseph is the day and tomorrow myself or you will be the same place so until then during our lives time let us be good to others like our roger joseph and be alert always always try to help the people always go to the church and pray to god god listen to our prayers so let us be faithful to jesus christ alone do not do not leave the church because of somebody because jesus christ called you and me the same god calls our brother roger joseph today so let us pray for ourselves we may motivate others we may help others we may do god's work always in our day to day lives amen, amen. god is good all the time in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen
Let's all stand for our bidding prayers. We're asking those persons with prayers, please come up. After each prayer, we shall sing, Lord, our prayer. Go there, go there. Go there. Prayer for the family. Father, I thank you for my family. I pray that you draw them closer to you. You are the only one who knows what each one of us is going through and what weighs on us. Help anyone fighting a single battle to find peace and comfort in you. Amen. Prayer for the church. Heavenly Father, I pray that you help the church, especially as divisions grow in our society. I pray that the church can be present, inclusive, and open to all, and not secluded or closed off. Bring comfort and rest to the priests and elders, and let them be renewed with your spirit. I pray that you give them wisdom and speak through them as they lead their members closer to you. Give them the strength to speak the truth, even when it's hard, and the wisdom to know how it is best to be heard. Amen. Prayer for the community. Lord, I pray that unity may prevail in my community. Let us come together to resolve issues and cooperate well to overcome all challenges. I pray you that you will guide them all, guard us, and protect us all as we move through this journey. Amen. Let us pray for all the family members and the friends of Roger Joseph that they may seek comfort and consolation from Jesus. Jesus may heal the pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us pray for ourselves as we gather today. We are assembled in faith and confidence to pray for our brother, Roger Joseph. Jesus, Lord, strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray. Our brother, Roger Joseph was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray. In baptism, Roger Joseph received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, pray. Oh, let us pray to the Heavenly Father by saying, Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. We shall now have our collection. During this time, we shall sing the hymn Blessed Assurance, hymn number three on your booklets. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. 
we shall now have the signing of the register. We call upon Melissa Louise Joseph, Elga James, Elijah Ferdinand, and Keitha Joseph. Please join Father at the table to sign the register. During this time, we shall listen to a special song by Chester Alcide. Avant mon chanteur aujourd'hui, je voulais parler de ce driver to reach là. Même si Roger est allé, nous devons parler. Roger dit qu'il voulait to reach ensemble. Bon, vous tout ça, ça moi qui parlé. Il est allé pour nous vivre en l'amour et puis on a l'autre. Ce n'est pas l'un qui est allé, nous ne pouvons pas acknowledge les gens là. Ce n'est pas l'un qui est allé pour nous venir et puis acknowledge les gens. Quand nous vivons ensemble pour faire et puis on a l'autre, il est allé pour nous ranger comme nous. Yeah, yes,
Let's all stand. Trusting in God, we all pray together for Roger Joseph. Now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Roger Joseph again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Now the blessing of the body. Body, we shall join in singing, Precious Lord, the fourth song on your booklet. and sisters I invite all the immediate family members please come and stand around the casket so the police officer can stand begin immediate family members please come and stand around the casket immediate family members Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present Thank him to, to God, God the Most, the most High. High. Saints of God, come to his aid. 
hasten to meet him angels of the lord response receive his soul and present him to god most high may christ who called you take you to himself may angels lead you to the bosom of abraham receive his soul and present him to god the most high eternal rest grant unto him o lord and let perpetual light as we take leave of our brother give our hearts peace in the form hope that one day roger joseph will live in the mansion you have prepared for him in heaven we ask this through christ our lord amen committal because god has chosen to call our brother roger joseph from this life to himself we commit his body to the earth for we are dust and unto dust we shall return but lord jesus christ will change our mortal's bodies to be like his glory for he is risen the first born from the dead so let us commend our brother to the lord that the lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day our response will be lord have mercy lord have mercy you raise the dead to life give to our brother eternal life lord have mercy you promise paradise to the repentant thief bring roger joseph to the joys of heaven lord have mercy our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the holy spirit give him fellowship with all your saints lord have mercy comfort us in our sorrow at the death of roger joseph let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope lord have mercy increase our faith and strengthen our hope lord have mercy welcome them into the eternal life lord have mercy with the longing for the coming of god's kingdom let us pray together now to the heavenly father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil let us pray the god of holiness and power accept our prayers on behalf of your servant roger joseph do not count his deeds against him for in his heart he decided to do your will as his faith united him to your people on earth so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer over the people bow your heads and pray for god's blessing merciful lord you know the anguish of the sorrowful you are attended to the prayers of the humble hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness we ask this through christ our lord amen eternal rest grant unto him o lord may he rest in peace may his souls of the souls of the faith de depart through the mercy of god rest in peace amen let us pray may the peace of god which is beyond all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of god and of his son our lord jesus christ through christ our lord the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit 
Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. As we take our brother to his final place of rest, we shall join in singing the recessional song, I'll Fly Away on Your Leaflet. Some I see. 
Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on Him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live No guilt in life, no fear in death This is the power of Christ in me from life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of men can ever block me from his hands till he returns or calls me home. I'll stay till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand.
I said in Christ alone who took on flesh fullness of God in hell bless babe this gift of love and righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save till on the cross as Jesus died the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on him was laid here in the death of Christ I live no guilt in life no fear in death this is the power of Christ in me from life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny No power of hell, no scheme of men Can ever block me from his hands Till he returns or calls me home I'll stay till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of of God in hell bless babe this gift of love and righteousness scorned by the ones he came to save till on the cross as Jesus died the wrath of God was I live no guilt in life, no fear in death. This 
This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever block me from His hands till He returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stay till He. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of I stand in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on Him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live No guilt in life, no fear in death This is the power of Christ in me from life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever block me from his hands till he returns. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of
I sit in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the I live, no guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me, from life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny, no power of hell. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of I sit in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the I live, no guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me, from life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny, no power of
my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still. I stand in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the The wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on Him was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of men can ever block me from his hands till he returns. Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I'll stand Here in the power of Christ I'll stand In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of I stand in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in hell, bless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the cross. The wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on Him was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ. In me, from life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of men can ever block me from his hand.
Oui, oui, on s'en sort, ça va. Oh, 
Let's do a line for the concrete now. Yeah. 
Concrete, concrete. Après, 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 après,
Let it go. On the wrong end of the power, when the wrong night has no end, when there's no one there beside me, till I hold you once again. Thank God for the real When I'm on the road When I'm far from home Feeling good Thank God for the radio Playing all night long Playing all the songs It means so much there's a song that we first danced to the world. There's a song they played the night we met. And there's a song we first made love to. That's a song. I'll never forget So thank God for the rain When I'm on the road When I'm far from home Even you Thank God for the rain Found 
what it takes to be loved. Like a 30-year-old wife, hearts intertwined, because keeps getting better all the time.
So this is where we come to the end of the live streaming of the funeral service. I want to take this time out to reach out to everyone and thank you for your patience. We had some audio issues which was beyond our control. Hope you guys do understand. We always try our best to do what's best to satisfy our viewers. However, there are times when certain things are beyond your control and I don't need to go into further explanation. But hope you guys, thank you for your patience. Like I said, we always do our best all the time. Yes. So do have yourself a blessed and wonderful evening and the family would like to say a big thank you to each and everyone who reached out in whatever way possible to support them during the trying times. Do you have yourself a blessed and a wonderful Saturday? One love to the max. Okay, my 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 niece and my kids are she's somewhere she's somewhere by the van. Show me daughter and my kids she's somewhere by the van. Check her for the van. Yeah, that's where she went. She went. I just, she just went by the bottom while ago. She had the kids. In the so just, just check her. She had the kids. Yeah. What's up, Musa Kolo? What's up? 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 What's up,